All right, welcome to my video. I'm going to show you how to take this gun motor carriage, originally developed by Toro, but now owned by Trumpeter, I believe, and put a rechargeable battery pack into it. First, we're gonna dump out the batteries like that, because this thing uses a lot of battery power. So as you can tell, there's a little, little plug right in here. And that is for a battery. And it uses a JST connector. The type of battery that you want to get is a 9.6 volt battery pack. That's made in a square. This one is 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydride battery. Notice how the plug is not correct. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch that out and make it into a JST plug. Battery pack will fit right inside this little area here. And it fits pretty tight. Of course, first, you have to remove the plastic tabs in here on both sides. And we may even have to remove these springs. Not really that difficult. Easy fix, easy change. That's it. Now there's two kinds of JST plugs. You have the male and you have the female. As you can see here, this is the plug that is actually inside the vehicle itself down in here, and that's a female. This is the male. Inserts like that. Now if you go to order these online, I suggest ordering a pack of both sizes. You can get it with wires onto it, like these are, or you can get it uh, like packs like this, where you actually have to assemble them. Both of them are relatively cheap, only a couple bucks each, and I'll be using both. I'll be using these to make the adapter for the charger, because the charger uses your traditional Timia plug. So I'll be making an adapter for this. So that way I can still use this to charge my other RC vehicles. And then I'll be using another plug, JST plug, to replace the one that's on this nickel metal hydride battery. Very simple. If you go to order these individually online, I will tell you this much, that the male plug that I refer to as a male plug because it inserts into the female plug is technically the female. And the reason why is because those little tiny rods inside this female actually get inserted into little tiny metal tubes on the inside of the male here. So just think of it that way. These are technically reversed if you go to order them. The same thing with the Tamiya plugs. The exact same thing. If you look at this Tamiya charger, this looks like a male plug because it inserts into a female plug adapter. But if you look inside, two metal tiny tubular pieces in there, those are female connectors. Keep that in mind when ordering. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do the battery pack. This should be relatively easy. Get our wire snips. We're going to go ahead and snip these off. There we go. See a little spark. So I did that. Maybe we need to do it one at a time. Go ahead and strip the wires. Don't have my wire strippers with me right now. So I'll just use this knife. Let's go ahead and pause the video and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes when this is all done. Okay, now that I have it stripped, I'm keeping them separated because we don't want it to spark. I did go ahead and just twist the wires here because all the little wild follicles, just to keep them together. So we have our positive, which is our red, negative, which is our black, just like on a car. And we're going to go ahead and put on our JST connector. 
Now, we're using this as an example just to test. We have, we see which side our black is negative and our red, which is positive. And we're going to put it in here so we know how to put this together. And it goes just like that. So the red is going to be on the right hand side. The black is going to be on the left. If we look at it directly ahead, you can see again, there's the black and there's the red. Just like that. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put it together. We're going to get our strip here of our tips. We're just going to go ahead and snip them off. I'm going to get a pair. They're both the same for both sizes, for both sides. They come off the strip really easily. There they are. Get rid of some of these batteries here. Give myself a little bit better of a work area for you guys to watch. Let's start with our positive side. Go ahead and take this little wire here, make sure it's nice and twisted up. And insert it into the lead. Now remember that it does not need to go all the way up in there, because on the other end, on the other connector, that's going to be pushed in. needs a place to go, so you don't want the wires to be completely in the way. Now if you notice that there's going to be a gap here where the actual red wire is exposed. So we're going to have to cut this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and use our snips here. I'm going to take off quite a bit here. Resize, retwist it up. Now it's a little tiny nub, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and insert, insert that into here. We're going to crimp it down. My father actually likes to solder these. You're more than welcome to as well. But I usually just crimp them, and it makes it a lot easier to pull them out if you actually need to. But if you crimp them tight enough, it'll prevent it from coming out on its own. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now, and we'll catch up in a minute. Okay. Went ahead and I completed the tips. We have our positive or negative. Basically crimped it on there. We'll wait until this focus is here. There we go. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get those inserted into the JST connector. Remember, we want the red to go on the right, black to go on the left. Keep in mind that once you insert these, there are little metal, almost barbs that are in here that will actually hook and prevent it from being pulled out again. If you look at the plastic piece, you can see exactly where those will go. So we have a barb that you can see here on the left, and that'll go in that little hole. So we'll make sure we're doing the red on the right. Push it all the way in. Okay. That one's not going all the way in. I'm going to have to reshape that a little bit on the bottom with my pliers to make sure it gets all the way in. There we go. And click. There it is. Go ahead and do the same for our negative. Okay, need to reshape that a little bit as well. Okay. 
No, not quite. Got to do a little bit more reshaping here. There we go, and click. There it is. Now that will actually insert right into the RC truck. And there it goes. Well, that's how you get the battery put in. And on my next video, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to make the adapter for the charger. But before continuing on, we'll go ahead and See if we can get this battery to fit in all the way. Yep. I have to take out those little metal tabs. And the plastic tabs as well. Alright, so these we should be able to just pop right out. Or cut them out. One of the two. And we'll go ahead and cut the springs out as well. All right, I'll go ahead and pause the video now, get some of that done, and be right back. Okay, I managed to get all of that cleared out. I actually took out all of this on this side, including the little metal tabs, and I knocked over the camera. Very difficult to work with one of these in front of you. Here we are, and here's the battery, fits in like that, fits perfectly, and plugs right in there. Did notice one other problem though, this little trap door, shut the battery, will not close with the battery in it. It's because of this ridge right here, so we're going to go ahead and get that cut out real quick. That should just take a minute, minute and a half with the snips. Altogether, doing this not in front of a camera, probably takes you about 15 minutes to do from start to finish. So let's go ahead and do this and I'll check back with you in just a couple minutes. All right. Now we went ahead and we got all these snipped off. I didn't clean it with a razor. You notice that it's still kind of rough in there. Gives a little bit of texture because this board is a little bit flimsy. So we just left it a little bit rough texture to give it some sturdiness. A little bit extra strut. Structural integrity. Let's go ahead and get this sucker plugged in. There we go. Probably be easier if you do that before putting the battery pack in here. All right. And we'll just go ahead and wind this up. I think on the next one I do, I'll make the battery pack cabling a little bit shorter. But there's still room in there. There's still room. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get that shut. Door is closed. Screw back in. There we are. All set to go. There we go. I turned it on. I heard the wheels move. And we're all good to go. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll go ahead and show you how to make the other end of the connector shortly.